Hi everybody. In today's video, someone had asked a question about how do you make a uh, dancing balls to kind of form, a, they said first a tunnel and then something about going into a smiley face and I don't have time to show a smiley face but I thought I would show them how I built this little tunnel and maybe it'll kind of point them in the right direction. What I did is, let me go ahead and I'll just stop it. I was just trying to show you a little bit about what I'm building. I seem to, okay, so let me, each one of these is a torus and to create it, let me go ahead and show it, it'll be a little more obvious, okay. First thing I did was I create a torus, so to create a torus you just go primitive shapes torus, then I took, I created a sphere, so you just go to primitive shapes sphere, and I just made copies of the 12 spheres in case you don't know how to make a copy I'm not sure you're you said you're new to iClone but you just you can move any prop you know if you want to like if I wanted to make a copy of this one I would just hold hit the W key to bring up a little move gizmo and hold the control key down and if you move it it'll make a copy I'm gonna go ahead and put that back because I've got enough because I've got to go to work then once I attached all my balls to a tour, well first you select your like I'm well, just to show you one of these. Let me take that name filter off. So each torus has twelve balls attached to it. You um, to attach your balls, you just go modify, pick parent. I mean it's attach, pick parent. And there's one thing you need to do for the toruses because I, I once I created one torus, I added. Um, you know, I had the balls attached, then I made a copy and I reduced the scale a little bit for each one. So this one, this one here is a parent, so it kind of changes the naming, the, the scales inherited here. So this one's like 80, 70, I didn't even realize it was like that, but that, it changes a little further down. It stops going by tens, I think, right about that one. Okay, yeah, it's like 48. So just the scale gets a little smaller as you go down. Each of the toruses, though, one thing to kind of point out there, make sure you uncheck rotate. I want to inherit the move and scale from the parents now, but I don't want to inherit um, the, the the rotator. It'll start flipping around. And there, it's a... Uh, now, it's kind of a pain in the ass. The one thing that's kind of a pain in the ass with this is that I noticed, let's say I want to uncheck the... Um, the spheres, you um, if I do that, then all my balls are hidden, and you have to go through and show your balls back. So it's kind of a pain in the ass. So the easiest, what I'm going to do is just hit Control Z, and go back to where before I turn that visible. Put that copy one more time there. So that's uh, but that was my. I don't know if that'll help you any, but you wanted to, you know, you talked about detaching and erase. So once you get one of these toruses. You know, you can kind of move it or do whatever you wanted to do, you know. But it is, that was just one option. I just thought I would show this. I didn't know what you were, exactly what you, let me kind of zoom in. I don't know what this is going to look like rendered. I kind of wanted to see it as far as, and I just chose some yellow little pattern there to better than, okay. So let's, let me actually, I'll go back to my camera. There we go. So I'll kind of zoom my camera in. And I'll just finish the video with that. But, and all I did was to I rotated each of the torses, and just to show you that really quickly, in case you've never done that before, I just went to the end of my project, which I've got my project settings set at 7200. If you don't have it, just set it right there. And then you have to go to Render Video and change your or whatever length you want. But that's just to give you the quick head start. And then from here, I went to the, uh, I selected one of my toruses, like whichever one I'm on at the time I'm working with. And if you go to the transform tab, and this, uh, this rotate is 7200, and then on the alternate, this is negative 7200, and then on the others, I made it uh, positive 7200, every other row. So that's, uh, it's kind of got that, oops, I've got a little bit of, movement there my camera moved on it I guess but that's the uh, that's why you get the little kind of alternating spin effect you could have them all spin the same way if you wanted to I was just trying to play around I didn't know what that would even look like I was trying to just 
give you a quick, quick example and I've got to go to work so maybe that'll give you some idea there's also some ways through Python that you could probably do some of this but that's not something I can do in this short little video but anyway just thought I'd give you some tips I'm not really sure what exactly you were wanting to uh, you know I know you wanted to have a smiley face but that would take a little more time so anyway maybe that'll give you some pointers all right and welcome to iClone it's after I got, it first took me a while to get used to it, but now I seem to spend all my time here, or most of my free time. All right, thanks.